Beautiful folks, what is up and how are you doing? This is your favorite struggling R&B producer, Valentine the Plug, and today I just want to take a couple of minutes to talk about what parallel compression can do for you and your drums, your samples, and your vocals. Let's get right into it. Parallel compression is one of those techniques that I'm pretty sure you've heard of before. What you're essentially doing is you're combining a dry signal with a wet compressed signal and you're mixing them together using the faders in order to add more thickness, more depth, more, more whatever to your vocals. Essentially, you're mixing the two signals together for a better effect for a more saucier vocal and setting that up in FL studio you know takes a little bit of effort but I'm gonna show you how and I'm gonna show you why you should use it all right so let's start setting everything up so I have my vocal uh, I have it already routed to one mixer channel what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna route it to two additional mixer tracks and when you do this make sure to remove this one from the master so make sure that this track your your bus track is no longer sent to the master and make sure to adjust the volume too because sending it to two mixer tracks uh, causes it to be faded into two mixer tracks causes an increase in volume which you do not want cool so i'm gonna name this one the dry track this one is the wet track and this is where the magic starts happening so what you're going to be hearing now is that the vocal is routed to two mixer tracks Ik heb een meid die me voelt en ik voel me de man. En ik ver over de hart met een doel en een plan. Een avondje veel en het doel en het Cool, so this is where we're gonna start doing our thing. I'm gonna open up the solid bus compression and uh, compressor and basically you can use any compression you want. You can use an 1176 emulation, an LA-2A emulation. I don't particularly care. Fab filter, neutron, I don't particularly care. Just use a compressor that you're comfortable with. And bonus points if you're using a compressor that adds a kind of vintage color to it. Now the key is essentially to treat it like a limiter. So we're gonna be setting a high ratio, low threshold, uh, low attack because we wanted to punch right away. We're essentially trying to squash the vocal or the sample or the drum like a pancake. So this is what we're gonna get now. Ik heb een meid die me voelt en ik voel me de man. En ik ver over de hart met een doel en een plan. Een avondje veel in mijn drankje en het doel en het dansen. That shit is squashed, right? Here's where we start fading it in and combining it for a thicker signal. So what I've done, I've slid down the fader of the dry channel and we're gonna start fading it in until I get what I like. Because at the end of the day, it is all preference. But please remember, what you're essentially doing is you're trying to combine the unprocessed vocals with the dynamics intact with the vocals that have the dynamics squashed or changed. And you're trying to combine that for a nice, thick and rich vocal. Ik heb een meid die me voelt en ik voel me de man. En ik ver over de hart met een doel en een plan. Een avondje veel in mijn drankje en het doel en het dans. Play it cool, low key, totdat ik move op een kans. Late night conversations, ik leef ervoor. Risky text zit in mij op een zeker spoor. Ik speel dood, maar ze heeft me door. Flirt in the flow, de spanning is verslavend en I'm crazy. I like it like that. So this is in a nutshell parallel compression the way that I use it and honestly I don't use it as much anymore since I've gotten better at mixing but this is still a very helpful tool in your toolkit to have and bust out from time to time. Like I said this works on samples, this works on drums you know just to give them that additional punchiness. This works on vocals especially for trap and R&B where we like our punchy vocals up front. So use it in whatever fashion you like and there's multiple ways to go about this. I just hope that I've given you a proper you know starting point to start exploring parallel compression so this is the end of the video i hope y'all enjoyed it i definitely hope this was helpful to y'all i'm gonna see y'all in the next video y'all be easy peace